Hello everyone, welcome to another GitHub tutorial video. Now in this tutorial video, I will show you how to fix error 404 on GitHub. Now this error happens, you know, sometimes it's not happening all the times, but it's an error that, you know, usually uh, is, uh, you know, a pretty common error. So basically, as you can see right here, uh, there are a few things that you should take into consideration. Um, so that is these things all here. So you have GitHub status page, DNS setup, browser cache, index HTML file, directory contents, custom domain and repository. Now error 404 can be one of these in one of these. So let's take a look at. So first of all is GitHub status page. Now you always need to go on GitHub status page and see if your GitHub is working correctly or if GitHub is still live. So this is the current status, right? Everything is good. So that means that, you know, the error 404 is not in the GitHub uh, because of this. So obviously DNS setup, make sure that GitHub's DNS records are set correctly with your DNS provider. Now for this, you can watch some of our other videos, but basically they need to be correct in order for you to run the GitHub. Now browser cache. Now, if your GitHub page is uh, private and you see a 404 error, you may need to clear a browser cache. Now, obviously you can go to your uh, settings and go to your cache. So just type in cache on Google Chrome or I'm right now on Brave browser. Um, that can be the case. Second thing that can be the case is GitHub pages will look for an index HTML file as an entry for your site. So make sure you have index HTML file in your repository for your site on GitHub. Uh, obviously for more, you can see our videos on how to create a GitHub page site. Um, but yeah, basically that's, that's what you want to have and you need to have this correct. So obviously directory contents, check that your directory contents are in the root directory as well. Custom domains. If you're using a custom domain, make sure it's set up correctly. Now for more information, you can see about custom domains. Obviously again, CNAME record should always point to the user github.io. Uh, or organization.github.io depending on your repository, right? Now, obviously these are just a couple of ways how you can go and fix this error. Um, obviously, if you still have this error after all of these, uh, then I would go and highly recommend to uh, go to the GitHub support. They have a great support, so they will be able to help you. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video.